All right, guys, so I'm going to go ahead and work through the homework questions for tonight with you so that you've got something to check back with. Obviously, try these by yourself. If you can do by yourself, awesome. If you can't, then watch the video, see if you can uh, figure it out with a little bit of help. All right, so the first question is it's similar to the one that we've been doing, but this one is just a rectangle. So it says the perimeter of a rectangle is 24 centimeters and its length is x centimeters. Find the width of the rectangle in terms of the length x. Find the expression for the area of the rectangle, a, in terms of x. Then we're going to explain the meaning of a2, calculate a2, and is x equals 12 in the domain of the function ax, justify your decision. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and get rid of the question here, and we will go ahead and solve each of these little by little. All right, so let's start with a rectangle which is what it's told us that we get to start with here. So, rectangle. And it says that the perimeter of my rectangle equals 24 centimeters and that the length is x. Okay? So, the first thing that it says is find the width of the rectangle in terms of the length. All right? Well, we've got that the length is x, which means the other length must also be x. All right, and then we have the width, which is this side right here. So perimeter, of course, is when you add up all the sides. So if I add up all the sides, it'll be x plus w plus x plus w, or in other words, 2x plus 2w. Now that perimeter, as stated before, is 24. So the first question asked me to find the length. So in order to find the length, I'm going to solve for w. So we'll go ahead and subtract the 2x. Anything that is not a W or does not have a W in it needs to move over to the right side. So then I'll have 2W equals, and you can either do 24 minus 2X or negative 2X plus 24. I like having the variable first, so I'm going to go negative 2X plus 24. And then, of course, the W needs to be completely by itself, so in order to do that, we're going to divide by 2. So at this point, I end up having W is equal to... And then both of these needed to be divided by the 2, so that would be negative 1x or negative x plus 12. So now that's the answer to part A. All right. The second question, part B, says find an expression for the area of the rectangle. Well, I know that area is equal to length times width. Well, the length is x. That was given to me earlier. The width I just found in terms of x, so that's negative x plus 12, or 12 minus x, depending on how you wrote it. And so now I have a function for area that only depends on x. That was part b. Very nice. Let's move on to part c. Part c says explain the meaning of a2. All right, well, you notice that this is a function in terms of x. So we could have written this as a of x, or that the area depends on x, equals x times negative x plus 12. And that will make it a little bit easier to answer the next question, where it says explain the meaning of a2. Well, 2 has replaced the x. And what was x? Well, we remember from the beginning of the question that x was the length. So if x is the length, this means the area when the length equals 2. And then for the second part of that, it says to calculate a2. So we'll go ahead and put 2 in for x. So we'll say a2, or the area when the length is 2, is equal to, and we'll put 2 in for the x. And we've got a2 equals 2 times 10 which is 20, and this was, the x is in centimeters, and this is also in centimeters, so that would be centimeters squared, because it's an area. So to answer part C, I is the area when the length equals 2, because 2 has replaced the x, which is the length. II is, A2 is 20 centimeters squared. Pretty nice. Let's move on to part D. Part D says, is x equals 12 in the domain. 
Now, there's two ways that you can work through this. One of them is to just go ahead and put the number into the function and see if it works. Okay? But before we do that, let's talk about it. Remember, x is the length. What would happen if I had a length of 12 here and a length of 12 here? What would that make the width? Well, 12 plus 12 is 24. That means you have no length left for the width. Therefore, it's non-existent. So the answer should be no, 12 is not in the domain. Okay, but let's go ahead and check it out anyway. We'll check out our equation where a of 12 is equal to, and we'll put 12 in for x, right? So I'm using my formula from before, 12 times negative 12 plus 12. And you'll notice that mathematically, negative 12 plus 12 is 0, which means I get an area of 0, which is not possible for a rectangle. All right, so the answer to part D, no, x equals 12 is not in the domain because it gives me a non-viable uh, answer. All right, or because if the length was 12, the width would have to be 0. All right, and that's it. So that would be question number 2 in uh, exercise 4E. Uh, All right, go on to the next video if you want to see the, the next one.